Next question to you is the issue of deportation. Um, uh, the past three months, mass deportation has been taking place from Germany. Uh, last, um, on March 7th, we saw a plane that landed in the Gambia with 45 Gambians from the United States. Uh, this ha has not happened during you guys' time. I've said it on air over and over again. Myself, I actually happened to end up getting my situation taken care of and everything uh, because of the fact that if the only Ayajame uh, or government or the government of President Ayajame would not issue a travel document at the time uh, um, uh, 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 or had delays or whatever was going on, um, the negotiation with the United States government. And as a result, uh, the laws of the United States said I could be released on an order of supervision while I take care of stuff. And eventually, I got my situation taken care of. The rest is today, I'm not going to manage. But I can say that during the IGMS time, outright travel documents were not issued, or we are very much delayed, or we are only issued <coughs> both in the United States and other places. Um, now, with this new government, not only are they issued to individuals and have individuals been deported, we've seen mass deportation. The median one was from the United States. Um, of 45 people last year and uh, on March 7th and this year December we had 15 people sent back to the Gambia. January we have 15 people. February we have um, uh, uh, no, January we have 15. That's 30 and then uh, February we had um, uh, uh, 20 people. A total of 40 people have been deported like in a mass deportation form and the rest of course are coming in individual flights here and there. Um, how do you see this whole deportation thing? <coughs> Uh, President Adam Abarufi quite about it until last week when there has been a lot of pressure with threats coming from these deportees and uh, accused of somebody allegedly killing one of the deportees allegedly killing um, two people at Tanka Tanka and all the other um, uh, things, the demonstration that took place um, last week Thursday, all of these things put together, what should take on the issue of the deportation, the government did quite finally release a couple of statements denying signing any deal with the EU or um, the German government, and finally um, announcing that they have put a moratorium or have stopped the temporary deportation. What's your take on this issue? Yeah, thank you very much. You know, I must, I must remind you what I told you at the onset. Uh, we cannot, uh, Gambians must, must take the lead in their own hands. Gambians can no longer be misled by politicians or any other for that matter. You understand me? For the issue of deportation, you know, for me, very, governments have their own programs and schemes and agreements, you know, that may differ from one government to the other. The bad side of the whole thing is when, when government cannot tell its citizen the truth, if they feel they have taken a decision that they, that's against the interests of the people they, they are out to protect, let them tell them, we took the decision, but we will look into it and try to put a stop and find another solution. Let's stop misinforming. Now, the issue of deportation, as you rightly said, no, no flight comes to a country or deportee comes to a country without the relevant documentation and without the, uh, the, the government of the day knowing a deportee. Two, mostly deportees don't have documentations. Is the is the country of origin that verifies and, and uh, issues out documents. Two, the foreign office. Then we had them talk with various uh, uh, government agencies about deportation under the back way. I vividly remember when there was an announcement on around October, November, December 1997, November, December 1997, when the GRTS announced that the ban on Gambians, put on Gambian of senior officials by the United States of America, yeah, the US government, by the United States, has been lifted. And then they made it an outcry. They were proud of it. That ban was lifted. And when the press asked me, I said, they said the ban was lifted. Find out what led to that ban and why was it lifted? And uh, interestingly, the press secretary to the American pre president came out to say that following discussions with the Gambia government on repatriation of Gambians to the, uh, no, uh, Gambian citizens to the Gambia, 
they have come, they have reached an agreement. And in the circumstances, they have lifted the ban on uh, on, form, uh, on the government uh, by the U.S. government uh, whilst the Ajame was there. So that means they have agreed to, to bring those Gambians back home. They have verified them, given them authentication and certificates. And they have even received monies to be able to revamp people and the deportees and the people who went by the back way. But my problem actually is... Do you have any evidence about that? that about what? Do you have any evidence about that they have received money? They themselves announced it. That they have received money to they, they themselves announced it over the air. Not We don't know all, but what they announced about... They even, even, was it two days ago, they were trying to clear air and then they were talking about 3.9 million dollars, uh, euros. There were a lot of monies announced. But my problem is, as leaders and as uh, as leaders of our country, we, we we usually take out of office to swear to protect the constitution and the people of this country. The interests of the people of this country. This is what we swear to protect. We are not here to protect the interests of the other people. If that would ruin the interests of our own people. So it's a crime. This one is, is criminality. For me, the Gambia government gains a lot from uh, Gambians in the diaspora's remittances to the Gambia. Not only their families, Gambia government itself. Foreign direct investment. They get a lot of money. And it helps the economy. Aside the benefit it has for those people and their families here. You can go and get those things for, for dollars, few dollars or in the name, to get good names from these people. When, our, when, when these people get, get back here, they get frustrated. You cannot do anything for them. They have nothing here. They have no employment. They, what they will, it, will, it leads them into uh, violence, craziness, mental disorder. Look, me, I honestly believe, except when you are a criminal in, in, in Europe, our doors for deportation should not be open. The wife should be able to manage with good people there. Some of, some of the people are there, they add value to their countries there, to the country. Some of the people are only there to acquire skills and knowledge, and they come back home. If you are a criminal, I will understand. But mass deportation, that's only affecting the Gambia. Why the Gambia? And we are one of the most peaceful in the world. I remember myself in, two, in, 2000 and, in 2000 and 2014-15, the Americans wanted to deport 2,000 Gambians from the United States. I was here, and I had audience with the, uh, the big man on it. And that, 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 was, that was what led to that ban, because they threatened that if we don't agree, they will ban senior government officials from traveling to the United States. That led to the ban. That was the time when the president was telling us that he has not sent them, he is not aware that these people are there. His government has not sent them. His money is not there. How can he be, there? How can he be moved to bring in those people back? Would he be able to do what those people are doing for their own parents and themselves? And he will add, when they were coming here, did we invite them? They came here and took our people as slaves. Did we invite them? So, so for deportation, it's a crime. It's a crime, and government must look at it seriously. So you think the government has failed Gambia? You think the, the government of Gambia has failed Gambia on the issue of the deportation? Very seriously, because they promised Gambians that they were going to have free visas to go to Europe. Now those free, if those free visas turn to be deporting them free without visa from, 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 from abroad to the Gambia. And that's why some of them cried... Cri 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 is your reaction to the... Yes? My reaction to... That's why some of them were... I said that's why some of, some of, you some of them were... I said that's why some of them were uh, insulted or shouted loudest. Because they have thought that 
these people will give them free visas and protections in Europe and go to Europe. Some of them are even claiming that they, they are now apologizing. They have even lied against us just in the name of the coalition. What happened? The truth has been prevailed. That's what I was about to say, that a lot of people said you guys created all this mess, and the government still continues to say that, well, we have inherited a bad governance, we have got bad government, we have inherited this, we have inherited all this mess from you guys, that you guys created this bad way thing. Um, in fact, we've had the Minister of Information, Ibrahim Asitila, on national television talking about um, how um, uh, 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 your government edited and abetted um, this process, of course, there were buses all over in the country um, uh, uh, that were lined up freely to transport these people to um, Mali, Niger, and of course through the park, we had hand them to human traffickers. And there were people who actually, even uh, publicly or voluntarily, talked about their experience or their involvement in this human trafficking. Uh, and who give it interviews with Al Jazeera and all of that, if you want the interview or not. Um, yes, this is what the minister said himself, that it was your government who headed and abetted this process, and it is what led to our young Gambians migrating in mass to Europe or to Italy. But, but the minister has not said... Uh, Sahara to the Mediterranean, and finally to... Yeah, has the, mini yeah, has the minister said uh, in his release... Uh -huh that uh, it was the current minister of uh, uh, Amadou Sane who was convicted for trafficking through the UDP letterheads, trafficking people from here and making them migrants in, in, in outside the Gambia. And then making them go and say that the Gambia, there is no democracy, there is nothing here. They were doing it. Did he say that? Did he say that, you know, he said we were, we were catalysts in this. We, he said, APRC, we were catalysts. We, we had buses all around, people picking people going to, through Mali to the borders. He said that. Am I right? Did he say what? Can you repeat that, sir? I said, you, you, he said, we created the, co uh, the conducive environment for Gambians to go out into the, uh, to the diaspora by providing uh, uh, buses, around, buses are found everywhere, etc. Did he tell, did the minister say to you that the uh, uh, former Minister of Finance, Amadou Sane, was caught and convicted on, on trafficking people from here to, into the diaspora in the name of Tarnishing the image of this country and getting them uh, political asylum there. They were using they were using their letterheads. The Pardon? Has there been um, evidences of that? He was convicted. That conviction was no. wrong. He, the conviction. He was wrongfully, he was wrongfully convicted. Mm -hmm. How can you say that? Can you withdraw that statement? That's what I'm just telling you what some people are arguing. No, those people don't tell me their arguments. That's not my statement. No, you cannot That's go to... Statement. A lot of people are saying Amadou Stanley was wrongfully convicted. He was supposed to come on TV and confess on... I read that video. I no, no, but he was convicted by a court of law. What else? Okay. If you are... Yeah, okay. Fair. Then it means all the convictions now happening. It's of, they are unfairly convicted. Uh, how, can, how can we Gambians move in this like direction? You went through a due process. You are convicted and you have the right to appeal. And you are, the people are saying it's wrongly convicted. What then is rightly conviction? What then becomes rightly conviction? When we take you to the people's bantaba and convict you, well, they take it to be politically. They take it. They take it to be politically motivated. But he didn't. So you believe that? No, but he didn't. No, but Amadou Sane didn't. No. He, yes, with people caught with letters. You saw them. Letters written by him and signed by him. UDP official letters, letterheads. Ah. Look. Oh, I don't understand people. Okay. 
So what recommendation do you what do you want to recommend? What I am saying, what I am saying, everything. Well, what I want to recommend to government, especially to President Barrow, is to look into the issue and renegotiate the issue of this uh, repatriation of youth to the Gambia. Let him renegotiate with 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 uh, with, with uh, diaspora uh, governments because it is going to create instability within the country, and that in turn will make will make more people even to leave the country. So we are going to defeat the purpose. Let them suspend it. Look into go into uh, go into negotiations. And find our best ways of solving these problems. And let them start, in fact, let them start by looking at those crim the criminal aspect of it. Why? The world is a, the, the world, the, 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 it's a globalized world. People move about. People should be able to move about. Get what you want. Move up, peacefully without hindrance. We can all the time be accepting what they want. Okay. They must that they look. If I am in the United States or I'm in Germany, I am working or I am going to school. I am not a criminal. What 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 is the problem? Uh -huh. What is the problem? But it's government's own interest. Some government officials, me, I want to believe. I want to believe that some of them were 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 leaked into these things for, by giving them certain favors. Because me, I cannot understand how I can allow, following a revolution of this nature, allow my people to be repatriated to the, to the country.